And then you've got all the toys that you have to function. And those are operated either through the keyboards or through special buttons that you can push to get those sounds. Sometimes those sounds need to be in sync with the music, so those are played through the keyboard as if they were one of the other speaking stops. Uh, other times you're just trying to get an accent, for example, maybe a bird call or something. So you push a, a button on the console for that. Um, so it's, it's a kind of like flying a plane, I guess. <laughs> All the different controls that an organist has to do simultaneously. And it becomes amplified into an even bigger thing when you're accompanying a movie. Uh, they were very serious about trying to make it be as realistic as possible. That's why this organ was built uh, for the theater. The theater was built to show silent movies and the organ had to accompany it and make it come to life. In a silent movie, your actual performance when you have an organist playing is a live performance. It's very different from going to a talking picture where everything has been pre-recorded and planned out you actually have a live happening going on at the moment that it's being played when you have a silent movie. I think it takes you to a different dimension than the modern picture does. Your brain, of course, is part of that in assuming a role in this. And so it's not a silent movie, really. All these accompanimental things were going on that brought it to life. The organ can be used for many different events, uh, and that's one of the exciting things about it. Of course, thinking back to the fact that in 1924 this was the accompaniment for a silent, which was not silent, picture, that is certainly one of the aspects that I think is important, is to go back to the roots of why this theater and organ were built. I think it's a, really a thrilling aspect of that to do that, so that future generations can experience a part of American history that really can't be recreated any other way than a live performance. You, I mean, you know, you cannot watch it on a TV and have the same experience as being in the room with a silent movie and its accompaniment being well done.